Old St. Peter's Basilica was the building that stood, from the 4th to 16th centuries, where the new St. Peter's Basilica stands today in Vatican City. Construction of the basilica, built over the historical site of the Circus of Nero, began during the reign of Emperor Constantine I. The name, Old St. Peter's Basilica, has been used since the construction of the current basilica to distinguish the two buildings. History Construction began by orders of the Roman Emperor Constantine I between 318 and 322, and took about 40 years to complete. Over the next 12 centuries, the church gradually gained importance, eventually becoming a major place of pilgrimage in Rome. Papal coronations were held at the Basilica, and in 800, Charlemagne was crowned Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire there. In 846, Saracens sacked and damaged the basilica. The raiders seem to have known about Rome's extraordinary treasures. Some holy, and impressive, basilicas, such as St. Peter's Basilica, were outside the Aurelian walls, and thus easy targets. They were filled to overflowing with rich liturgical vessels and with jeweled reliquaries housing all of the relics recently amassed. As a result, the raiders pillaged the Holy Shrine. In response Pope Leo IV built the Leonine Wall and rebuilt the parts of St. Peter's that had been damaged. In 1099, Urban II convened a council including St. Anselm. Among other topics, it repeated the bans on lay investiture and on clergy's paying homage to secular lords. By the 15th century the church was falling into ruin. Discussions on repairing parts of the structure commenced upon the Pope's return from Avignon. Two people involved in this reconstruction were Leon Battista Alberti and Bernardo Rossellino, who improved the apse and partially added a multi-story benediction loggia to the atrium façade, on which construction continued intermittently until the new basilica was begun. Alberti pronounced the basilica a structural abomination. I have noticed in the Basilica of St. Peter's in Rome a crass feature, an extremely long and high wall has been constructed over a continuous series of openings, with no curves to give it strength, and no buttresses to lend it support. The whole stretch of wall has been pierced by too many openings and built too high. As a result, the continual force of the wind has already displaced the wall more than 6 feet meters from the vertical, I have no doubt that eventually some Slight movement will make it collapse. At first Pope Julius II had every intention of preserving the old building, but his attention soon turned toward tearing it down and building a new structure. Many people of the time were shocked by the proposal, as the building represented papal continuity going back to Peter. The original altar was to be preserved in the new structure that housed it. Topic. Design. Topic. The design was a typical basilica form with the plan and elevation resembling those of Roman basilicas and audience halls, such as the Basilica Ulpa in Trajan's Forum and Constantine's own Aula Palatina at Trier. Rather than the design of any Greco Roman temple, Constantine went to great pains to build the basilica on the site of St. Peter's grave, and this fact influenced the layout of the building. The Vatican Hill, on the west bank of the Tiber River, was leveled. Notably, since the site was outside the boundaries of the ancient city, the apse with the altar was located in the west so that the basilica's façade could be approached from Rome itself to the east. The exterior however, unlike earlier pagan temples, was not lavishly decorated. The church was capable of housing from 3,000 to 4,000 worshippers at one time. It consisted of five aisles, a wide central nave and two smaller aisles to each side, which were each divided by 21 marble columns, taken from earlier pagan buildings. It was over 350 feet 110 meters long, built in the shape of a Latin cross, and had a gabled roof which was timbered on the interior and which stood at over 100 feet 30 meters at the center. An atrium, known as the Garden of Paradise stood at the entrance and had five doors which led to the body of the church, this was a 6th century addition. The altar of Old St. Peter's Basilica used several Solomonic columns. According to tradition, Constantine took these columns from the Temple of Solomon and gave them to the church, however, the columns were probably from an eastern church. 
when Gian Lorenzo Bernini built his baldacchino to cover the new St. Peter's altar, he drew from the twisted design of the old columns. Eight of the original columns were moved to the piers of the new St. Peter's. Mosaics <inaudible> 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 The Great Navicella Mosaic in the atrium is attributed to Giotto di Bondone. The giant mosaic, commissioned by Cardinal Jacopo Stefaneschi, occupied the whole wall above the entrance arcade facing the courtyard. It depicted St. Peter walking on the waters. This extraordinary work was mainly destroyed during the construction of the new St. Peter's in the 16th century, but fragments were preserved. Navicella means, little ship referring to the large boat which dominated the scene, and whose sail, filled by the storm, loomed over the horizon. Such a natural representation of a seascape was known only from ancient works of art. The nave ended with an arch, which held a mosaic of Constantine and St. Peter, who presented a model of the Church to Christ. On the walls, each having eleven windows, were frescoes of various people and scenes from both the Old and New Testament. The fragment of an 8th century mosaic, the Epiphany, is one of the very rare remaining bits of the medieval decoration of Old St. Peter's Basilica. The precious fragment is kept in the sacristy of Santa Maria in Cosmedin. It proves the high artistic quality of the destroyed mosaics. Another one, a standing Madonna, is on a side altar in the Basilica of San Marco in Florence. Tombs Since the crucifixion and burial of St. Peter in 64 AD, the spot was thought to be the location of the tomb of St. Peter, where there stood a small shrine. With its increasing prestige the church became richly decorated with statues, furnishings and elaborate chandeliers, and side tombs and altars were continuously added. The structure was absolutely filled with tombs and bodies of saints and popes. Bones continued to be found in construction as late as February 1544. The majority of these tombs were destroyed during the 16th and 17th centuries demolition of Old St. Peter's Basilica save one which was destroyed during the Saracen sack of the church in 846. The remainder were translated in part to modern St. Peter's Basilica, which stands on the site of the original basilica, and a handful of other churches of Rome. Along with the repeated translations from the ancient catacombs of Rome and two 14th century fires in Basilica of St. John Lateran, the rebuilding of St. Peter's is responsible for the destruction of approximately half of all papal tombs. As a result, Donato Bramante, the chief architect of modern St. Peter's Basilica, has been remembered as Maestro Ruinante. Stefaneschi triptych Topic. The Stefaneschi altarpiece is a triptych by the Italian medieval painter Giotto, commissioned by Cardinal Giacomo Gaetani Stefaneschi to serve as an altarpiece for one of the altars of Old Street. Peter's Basilica in Rome. It is a rare example in Giotto's work of a documented commission, and includes Giotto. S signature, although the date, like most dates for Giotto, is disputed, and many scholars feel the artist's workshop was responsible for its execution. It had long been thought to have been made for the main altar of the church. More recent research suggests that it was placed on the canon S altar, located in the nave, just to the left of the huge arched opening into the transept. It is now at the Pinacoteca Vaticana, Rome. Topic. See also Topic. List of Greco-Roman roofs Index of Vatican City-related articles Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. The Vatican, Spirit and Art of Christian Rome. New York, The Metropolitan Museum of Art, 1982. ISBN 0870993488. pp. 51-61. Weitzman, Kurt, ed., Age of Spirituality, Late Antique and Early Christian Art, 3rd to 7th Century, No. 
581, 1979, Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York, ISBN 9780870991767. Kaiser, Michael 1979. The Constantinian Basilica article by José Roichert The Tomb of St. Peter book by Margarita Garducci